show something you can do for people uh, for their upper back, which is often a problem, into people's upper back, uh, usually in this area, and into their neck, into their cervical spine. I wanted to give you an additional option you can use. This will make you a uh, fun at parties, uh, well received. I'm going to have the receiver put their arm uh, comfortably behind their back. And using my knee, I'm going to stabilize their hand so that they can completely relax this arm. Then slowly what I'm doing is here's the border of the shoulder blade, the vertebral border along the spine. I'm just pressing my fingers into that spot while at the same time using my other hand to gently traction and pull the shoulder. This is helping pull the shoulder blade off of the upper back. It usually feels good to the receiver. If you like, you can press along the spine, into the paraspinal musculature, the erector spinae. You can see that I started a little lower, working my way up. And each time, you can begin to retract or pull the shoulder blade back a little bit more. Kim is fairly open. A lot of people will be much more closed than this. And again, you can put the fingers behind the shoulder blade, open up through there. Gives you an additional option. I'll show it again quickly to the other side. Same as before, just make sure their elbow can relax. You wouldn't want to lift them higher than they feel comfortable with. That's probably a little too tight. But if you let them relax first and then place your knee, that's a safer bet. And just like before, just on the opposite side, the fingertips pressing along the vertebral border of the shoulder blade. You're pressing into the rhomboids, which connect along this border into the spine. And also thumb pressure right on the paraspinal musculature while you rotate. Help the shoulder blade retract. And there you go. Something easy you can do uh, at a party to work on either side of the spine, starting with the shoulder blade. We'll see you again soon on robertgardnerwellness.com.